When you look at the map of the Africa, you can see that there are a lot of panhandles, such as this one in Cameroon, this one in South Sudan, or these two panhandles stretching from Democratic Republic of Congo. But this one in Namibia is probably the most weirdest one. It is called Caprivi Strip, it's around 450 km long, and the width of the strip varies from 32 km to 100 km. It also has over 100,000 citizens, and the largest settlement in the strip is Katimamulilo. To know why is this strip part of Namibia, we need to go back to the year 1890 when Namibia was colony of Germany. During this time, Germany also ruled over modern day Tanzania and they wanted to somehow connect these two colonies. To do this, they needed access to Zambez River, which was our way over here in British territory. So, in 1st July in 1890, they signed Heligoland Zanzibar Treaty with the United Kingdom, which gave this piece of land to Germany so they could now access Zambez River. Also, Britain gave small island of Heligoland in Europe to the Germany. In exchange, Germany recognized British authority in Zanzibar, they handed over small Witu protectorate in modern day Kenya, and they also settled borders between German Togoland and British Gold Coast, as well as borders between German Cameroon and British Nigeria. So you might now think that Germany could now navigate from Namibia to Tanzania through Zambezi River, but that's not really true. And it is because they forgot about the Victoria Falls, which were on Zambezi River only a few kilometers from the end of the Caprivi Strip. Because of the falls, they didn't really found use for Caprivi Strip, so after unsuccessful mineral expedition in year 99, Germany tried to exchange Caprivi Strip for a city named Wallowis Bay with Britain. However, that failed too, because the territory of Namibia was transferred into Cape Colony. Whole Namibia was then annexed by South Africa, and in 1970, South Africa established self-governing territory of Kavangoland, which covered the west part of Caprivi Strip, and in 1976, they established territory of East Caprivi, which covered east part of Caprivi Strip. Kavangoland and East Caprivi were then abolished in May in 1989, when Namibia started transition to the independence from South Africa. In 1994, Caprivi Liberation Army, or CLA for short, was formed, with the goal of independence for Caprivi Strip. So in 1999, CLA launched several attacks on police stations, border posts, and army base in Katimamulilo, which is the capital of Caprivi region. However then, state of emergency in Caprivi region was declared, and many CLA supporters were arrested. So, this was basically a quick history of Caprivi Strip, and why is Caprivi Strip part of Namibia? I also recently made video about strange border on Market Island in Scandinavia, so you can now watch that video too. Thanks for watching.